Anyway, your mother insulted... I don't care anymore, Patty. After nine seasons, I just don't care. Maybe you could try not being a... HD, and today we are here to fulfill the obligation that I made to some of my bravest PhD army members that have slid my DMs and requested that I check out their Family Guy cutaway compilations. Let's do this. I need to know how to get a girl to like me. Ah, Chris, buddy, there's a million ways to do that. You just gotta do something simple like Vincent Van Gogh. Ooh, it's... What is this? It's my ear. Do you like it? You don't, you don't like it? No, I like it. But it's just... Why your ear? Because I love you. Well, at least this will be a funny story to tell our kids someday. Oh, you want kids? Ugh, yikes. Uh, I wish you'd told me that before I got you this. More stupid than that time you locked your keys out of the car? Damn it! Hey! Hey! hey somebody! Hey! hey sir! 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 You see those keys there? Sir! Sir! Oh, oh screw you! <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere, fellas. That's how you evolve. Like when the Tin Man found out he was gay. Look what happened by accident. Hell, even Cleveland used to be an accomplished auctioneer. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Oh, oh how could this day get any worse? Oh. My. Oh God. Well, I like that. So, what exactly would you say qualifies you to work as a sumo wrestler? Oh, are you kidding? I'm a born athlete. Just like Greg Louganis. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. You're probably asking yourself, which way are they going to go? Are they going to make a diving board head injury joke? Are they going to make an AIDS joke? Or are they going to make a joke about the fact that his last name sounds suspiciously like anus? Well, we're going to take the high road and do a no-body hair joke. Brian? Hi, I'm Greg Louganis. I'm totally shaven. Terrific. Terrific. In Superman 2, what is the story with that cellophane S that Superman rips off his chest and throws at the bad guy? Prepare to be destroyed, Superman. I saw this. What was that? Yeah, take that, you jerk. That was a minor inconvenience. Yeah, well, that's the idea. Slowed you down. I'll say. Ow. Didn't see that coming, did you? No. Yeah, well, you know, take that. I haven't been part of a team since I was with the Four Peters. I haven't felt this out of place since that week I lived with Superman. We must stop Lex Luthor before he irradiates the world's supply of gold. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry. I know you got a meeting going on, but, um... So, we are officially running low on Mr. Pibb and Cheez-Its. So, um, just putting it out there, if you're heading to the store later, uh, you know, uh, 800-mile drive for me, like, uh, five seconds for you. Whatever, I'm not here. I'm gonna be cooler than Brian when he hangs out at the bowling alley. That's what I love about high school girls. I keep getting older, they stay the same age. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. This is even more fun than when I performed at the White House. Mr. President, I present to you Peter Griffin. Gotta hit him. Gotta hit him. I am 
am so clever. That's why they picked me to convince Congress to go to war. There is no just cause for an invasion of Iraq. Well, that may be. But what we're all forgetting is, anyone who doesn't want to go to war is gay. I want to go to war. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We should definitely go. Yes. That argument would really, really work on American people. Who's the first one who wanted to go to war? Come on, Brian. A change of scenery is always good. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed my trip to Nebraska. So, um, anybody see any good movies lately? No, no not really, yeah. no. So, you read any good books? No. Mm -mm. no. Nope. Uh, anything new with corn? Oh, yeah, corn. Oh, corn. Oh, yeah, oh, corn. You oh, bet. Corn, oh, corn. Oh, corn. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Corn, corn is always interesting. But our goal here is to gain a command of the English language so you can be successful writers like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Ha, huh, there, finished. Goodwill Hunting by Matt Damon. Hey, uh, you think we could put both our names on that? What? You've done nothing but eat briars and smoke pot for the last six months. Oh, that's ridiculous. Come on, I... I helped. Oh, yeah? Okay, uh, r write a line. Just... just right now. Just pitch me a line right now. Okay. How about that? That wasn't a line. You just farted. Is there any more pot? Besides, I know how to deal with children. Unlike Mr. Geppetto. Oh, no, I dropped my glasses. Uh, by the way, uh, Pinocchio, uh, there was a cookie missing from the jar. Did you, uh, did you take it by any chance? Yes, Papa Gibetto. I'm sorry. Are you sure you took it? Because, uh, I'd believe you if you said you didn't. No, I took it, Papa. I wouldn't lie to you. You could try. Who knows, you might get away with it. Well, I'd better tell Cleveland. I got a knack for delivering bad news. I don't know how to tell you this, Mr. Devaney. So I'll let these guys do it. <laughs> You have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. I hate to tell you, boy, that you have AIDS. You got the AIDS. You may have caught it when you stuck that filthy needle in here. Or maybe all that unprotected sex put you here. It isn't clear, but, but what we're, we're certain, certain of is you have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. Not HIV, but, but full-blown AIDS. Be sure that you see. That this is not HIV, but full-blown AIDS. Not HIV, but really full-blown AIDS. I'm sorry, I wish it was something less serious. But it's AIDS. You've got the AIDS. Shit, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't as bad as the evening I spent with Glenn and his mother. Glenn, would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up. Don't you talk to Mittens that way. Mittens is a member of this family. Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're going to have to change your tone. Gosh, I was really starting to like this job. It was nice interacting with intelligent people. I usually hang out with an idiot. Brian, Brian, check it out. I made a water slide in the house. Yay! Yeah. Ah, 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 what the f- ah, 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 Why would you do ah, that? Ow. I'm not going to call the hospital because you won't learn anything if I do. Oh. No, no, you, you cannot tell them about this, please. Peter is not very discreet with private matters. Hey, everybody! Meg just had her first period. Peter, shut up. It's three in the morning. What the hell's going on out there? Damn it, people are trying to sleep. I'm just saying I'm proud of her. She's a woman. Yay. Yes, Peter, that's very hot, and I'll deal with it in the morning. But right now, I am exhausted. I need your help. Lois is out of control. I mean, she's acting crazier than I did that time I tried ecstasy. What? Oh, Brian, your fur is so soft. What? Oh, your ears. Your ears are like dog ears. Oh, this couch. Uh, Stewie, your head is so smooth. How, how is that even... How, how are you doing that? How are you doing that? Oh, everything here is fantastic. Uh, Ah, oh, these clothes. Oh, God! Oh! 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 Oh!
No! 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 Oh, come on, Chris. Everybody's done something they're not proud of. Like when I used to be a Wonder Twin. Like when I was watching this bullshit and this animated dude started getting bucket naked and squirming on the ground like a drugged out prostitute. <laughs> we gonna edit that out. Peter, the old schoolhouse is on fire. Let's go. Wonder, Wonder Twin, Twin powers, powers activate. activate. Form of a hawk. Come on, Peter. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. That's not bad. I like yeah. shape of Jaina's tampon. <laughs> Who the hell is Jaina? And now I play the waiting game. This will be a lot more fun than last Saturday when we went to see the vagina monologues. So, uh, in international news, uh, no luck yet finding Osama bin Laden, uh, so the government is trying a new tactic. They've hired Jeff Galuli. <laughs> Galuli. Uh, sorry, I guess... Bro, this vagina stinks. Mm-mm-mm. Guess that joke was, uh, not so fresh, but you know... Do you accept this rose? <sighs> All right, but I think this whole thing is about as pointless as Peter's cow kite. <laughs> ah, this is never gonna work, damn cow. Cleveland, what am I doing wrong? You gotta get her running before you start running. What are you watching, Peter? Passion of the Christ. I tell you, Brian, I can't believe that this guy's just lying there taking it. If it was me, I would have done something about it. Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. I thought we were going to go all the way and die together like Hitler and Eva Braun. We do everything together, yeah? Yeah. You got your poison? Mm. Okay, one, two, three. You, you didn't do it! You didn't do it either! Okay, okay, all right, well, this time we really have to do it. Okay, all right, you ready? Okay. Okay, okay. One, One two... two. Ah! Oh, yeah. uh. You want me to kill myself and you're not going to! You suck! You suck! You suck! Yeah. Oh, no, I don't volunteer for anything since I helped those guys repaint the Sistine Chapel. <gasps> Yeah, uh, listen, I thought the stuff that was there was kind of lame, so uh, I put this up. Yeah, I figured I'd rate a giant to be a little hipper, you know? Get back some of those boys you scared away. Well, you know, Chris, I knew this day would come, so I brought you a condom. Use it wisely, though. It wasn't easy to obtain. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, give that back. Oh man. Now, where were we? <laughs> oh, this is much better. Joe, if you love your medal so much, why don't you marry him? <laughs> I, I did something like that once. And in the event of your death, you'd like the insurance policy to be paid to your wife? Yep. And your wife is this piece of pie? You got it. Love you. Okay, sign here. You know what? You can probably go ahead and cancel that. Lois, I just got an idea. Much better than that time I experimented with gene splicing. Uh, Lois, quick question. Do we have any Tylenol? Uh, I picked up the first season of Jiminy Glick. Uh, imagine being that guy for a day. Colin Farrell. So I was talking to my wife, Dixie, the other day, and she was saying that you weren't a very good actor, and I agreed with her. Now, now why, now why, Colin? Why would we both say that? Meg, you should ask him out. I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend. I'm back. I brought another picnic. You're such a good listener. You're not like the other boys. You're so good with animals. <laughs> oh my god, we forgot Meg. Don't worry about Meg. She's got everything she needs in her room. <laughs> I didn't laugh. Did not laugh. I was close. That was like half a laugh. So I'm at 1.5. That was half uh -oh. a laugh. Lois, you look worse than that Rocky Dennis kid from Mask. Rocky, I don't even know what you look like. Can I touch your face? Of course, Diana. Oh, God. Quick, tell her that your head is your penis. She'll think you're hung like a wild black horse. You have a hard time finding a condom that big, though. Oh, oh God, what is this? What, what is all this? Am, am I touching the outside of a house? Those are my... Oh, God, you're a monster. <laughs> I'm beautiful on the inside. Yeah, but Rocky... Yeah, that's the shit that fat bitches say. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> oh, 
Hey, before you females get mad, think about what would happen if a fat guy said that shit. Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, what is this now? Does your face have a pelvis? And what? An F, Brian, after all Chris has done for you? Ah, oh, yeah, just kind of pull it out. Yeah. You know, if dogs aren't supposed to eat dental floss out of the garbage, why do they make it mint-flavored? Jeez, this sucks worse than that time I did cocaine with Carl Malden. What are you getting all bent out of shape about? Well, you know, Carl, I, I, I didn't get... I got virtually nothing here, you know? Look, I don't see what the problem is. No, you wouldn't, would you? Now, look, look, all I'm saying is I got the raw end of the deal. You invited me over. Yeah, well, now I'm regretting it. Nobody took care of me when I lost my arms and legs and was struck blind, deaf, and dumb. Hey, hey, Meg, they got a Happy Days spoof in here, but they call it Crappy Days. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? If you're not going to laugh, then I'm not going to keep you company. Mischief is fun. We're the best pals since the snorks. Oh, I'm having a really great time. Me too. I really value our friendship. You're not like those other snorks who only want one thing. The hell I'm not. <laughs> oh, that was clumsy. <laughs> Hang on a second. Type of shit. I mean, it really helped Peter out when he became obsessed with that fantasy world of his. Yeah! You're a little too heavy, buddy. Yeah! We're going down. Yeah! Yeah! I have to get rid of this body or Chris will go to prison. And we all know what happens in those prison showers. I've seen Oz. Oh, punch a nigga in his mouth. If he ever came up behind me and tried to put soap on me, bro. I'd ask him, yo, you good? You know what? I think it's probably a good idea just to punch him in the face, so just off GP. Because otherwise, now the other prisoners will think that the getting might be good. Huh? Always protect yourselves. Chris, you can't be so impulsive. People have gotten into a lot of trouble that way. Uh... Marie? Yeah, Donnie? Um, we cannot tell Mom. Oh. oh, please tell me this is some kind of practical joke. Like like the kind I used to play when I was an intern at the hospital. I'm afraid I have some very bad news. Your wife's gonna be a vegetable. You'll have to bathe her, feed her, and care for her the rest of her life. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm just kidding. She's dead. Oh, man, this is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit down. Wagmire, what are you doing here? Oh, it's conjugal visit day. You know I love doing a woman in the can. Oh, giggity, 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 goo. What? Who but Quagmire. He's Quagmire, Quagmire. You never really know what he's gonna do next. He's Quagmire, Quagmire. Giggity, 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 let's have sex. I do hope nothing happens to spoil this fancy dinner party. <gasps> Who else but Quagmire? As long as you understand, doing something like that will get you so far away from sex, you'll forget it exists, my nigga. Please don't get buck naked and act purely off your emotions in public. Only women can play the victim and that work for them. For men who do shit like that, all we get is jail. He's Quagmire, Quagmire. Giggity, goo. Don't think I could have been any clearer the last time I turned him down. Ray, your mother insulted my steak pozzola again. Neil Goldman of Quahog, Rhode Island. Leave me alone. I hate you. I hate you. Anyway, your mother insulted- I don't care anymore, Patty. After nine seasons, I just don't care. Maybe you could try not being a bitch. Oh, oh, oh. I don't understand why I have to babysit Stewie. I'm okay, you got me. Fuck. I mean, what's he really gonna do if we leave him by himself? And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, Jim! <laughs> ah, I'm a monster! Never gonna be remembered for anything. Not like my great great uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding, like hell you were! Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. Hey, can I say hi to a friend of mine? Uh, sure. Hi, Jesus. No way. Hello? 
I know, I saw. Come on, buddy, you owe me. Eh? You, you remember what I did for you last week? Sighing softly to the river comes the loving breeze. Setting nature all a quiver, rustling through the trees. Through the trees. <sighs> all right, I'll go. Come on, Lois, you didn't have the wild streak you had when you were younger. For God's sake, you used to make plaster molds of celebrity body parts. Okay, Daryl, it's almost dry. Very nice, by the way. This one's going on the shelf right next to Dan Fogelberg. Hey, Lois, am I up next? Just wait in your dressing room. I'll come back for you, Oats. Which means she's not going to go back for Oats. I'm not coming back for Oats. <laughs> Is it bad that I, I knew that? I got the idea from when Brian had to wear that cone after his operation. Okay, okay, if I make this, we're all gonna get laid. Ha-ha! Yes! Score! Score! Boy, I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. Oh, Peter, we've tried every theme we could think of, and everything's failed, especially that uh, Coyote Ugly theme. Motherfuckers! No! I'm not gonna avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! Ah, jeez, that's more of a rip-off than that breakfast machine. See what position she fell in? Doggy style. Machine I bought. Is he smoking crack? Is that crack? Oh! Oh! What was the point of all that? What? Ah! Uh, all it does is shoot you. It doesn't make breakfast at all. Ah! Uh. Boy, I haven't been this creeped out since I saw that episode of Star Trek. Number one. Yes, Captain. Let me ask you something. If I whispered in your ear that Commander Worf's head looks like a fanny, would you join me in a laugh? Yeah. Yes. I could get in on that. Yes. All right. Here it comes. Commander Wolf's head looks like a fanny. <laughs> you can both suck my ridges. Oh, get a sense of humor, Rocky Dennis. Wow. I told that nigga to suck his ridges. <laughs> Shit. Well, that sounds even better than when I got paid to take part in that study. Hmm. The only one who couldn't finish the puzzle is the fat one. I'm sorry. I can't see what you're going for here. Well, uh, let me look at... Oh, it's a jar of preserves. Oh, yeah, I guess that's what all the red pieces were, huh? And Meg even went on a date with the announcer from the Super Friends. Meanwhile, under Meg Griffin's bra... <laughs> Don't be so sure, Brian. I've slept with chicks all over the world. Who knows? I could have kids in their 20s. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. My God. Nobody can be this stupid. Not, not, not even Peter when he took that blow to the head and thought he was Larry from Three's Company. Jack, there's a hot tub party across the street and we're invited. Oh, and don't worry, if uh, Mr. Furley comes by, I'll make sure he thinks you're... How did you get on the show? Uh, I had to do a few favors. Oh, I gotta get on that show. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, check under the bed. Nope, nothing. Check in the closet. Nope, no monsters in here. Now check the bathroom. Nope, none in here either. Okay, good. So can I be on The Bachelorette? Yeah, good night. I tell you, this is worse than when they took away my library card for reading while intoxicated. Oh, don't be ashamed of your hand, Johnny Tremaine. You still live in exciting times. Oh, crap. Sir, do you know how loud you were reading? The life of a silversmith's apprentice was not an easy one. <laughs> Brian on a date, hmm? Well, that'll be more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. Marco. 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 What? Marco. Yo. Marco. What? Marco. Oh my god, you can't do Marco. this! Marco. Marco. Damn! I'm terrible at meeting new people. 
Like the time I was on blind date. I'm having a great time, Stewie. Me too. So, uh, you ready to go grab some za? Uh, yeah. So, a wild guess here, but from the looks of your arm hair, I'm guessing you're Italian? Oh! You're a hero. No, Lou Gehrig was a hero. Excellent. As soon as I release this biological toxin into the world's water supply, I will rule the world. I'll call it Lou Gehrig's disease. I just have to remember to make sure this cap is screwed on tight. Well, I guess the joke's on me. This ought to be more interesting than that time I met Ted Danson. Wow, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Hey, always nice to meet a fan. Oh, shoot. I forgot my umbrella. That's okay, honey. Come on over here. Thanks, dear. Sometimes it's good to be a freak. Hey, do you want to sleep together later? Oh, no. No, no. Thanks, though. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! This is turning out worse than Stewie's iPod. The production values were amazing. Much better than Kramer vs. Predator. You want him back? You can't just disappear for three months and then suddenly decide you want him back. You can't have him. Oh. Murder? Well, this is a bigger surprise than that time Peter vanished into thin air. Hey, Stewie. peek a -boo. Yes, I see you, fat man. <gasps> Where's Daddy? What? Where did you go? Oh, this is impossible. I, I, I can hear you, but I can't see. Well, he must really be gone. peek a -boo. Ah! How the hell did you do that? Look, I thought you disappeared, otherwise I wouldn't have picked my... Oh, great, leave when I'm right in the middle of a sentence. Oh, God, I'm screwed. This is worse than that time I had to fess up to the nation. My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigadied her geflavity with my googus. And I am sorry. I feel awful. Why don't you come on over and we can try to get things back to the way they used to be? Remember how it was? Perhaps here there are many unsuspecting foxes to have sex with us. That is why we wear a tight pants to show our bulges. We are two, two wild, wild and crazy guys. guys. You guys look stupid. Oh, my God. He's gone. Ooh, that means this room is mine now. Oh, I'm going to party my ass off in here. Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's going to use the money to get a mammogram. I just bought us some new sheets at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, boy, I hope you stayed away from that Beyond section. <laughs> oh, here are the coffee mugs. I hope I don't make any social faux pas like I did at Pamela and Tommy Lee's dinner party. Hi, sorry I'm late. I was visiting my aunt in the hospital. She has hepatitis. Ooh, sorry. Oh, wow, I feel like an explorer. Just like my ancestor, Ponce de Leon Griffin. There it is, boys, the fountain of youth. Just like I told you. Well, that was worth the eight-year boat ride. Oh, my God. Wow, no Griffin's been this powerful since my ancestor, King Arthur Griffin. Oh, Arthur, if you are able to draw the sword from the stone and prove to me you truly are the sole king of Camelot, I will make love to you right here in the clearing. What if I can just move it an inch? Will you touch me? Just a second, Lois. That's what we need. We'll go on a second honeymoon. <gasps> Peter, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, we'll be just like the honeymooners. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Yeah, yeah, I know, Ralph. Right to the moon. <laughs> Oh! I almost got an ulcer after you shelled out 200 bucks for tickets to crossing over with John Edward. I'm sensing an A. Does your name begin with an A? No. A B? No. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. P! Peter! My name's Peter! Is your name Peter? Wow, you are some kind of sorcerer. This is worse than that Winona Ryder thing. <laughs> Are you saying I'm a klepto? Well, uh, actually, I was talking about the age of innocence. It is settled, May. Our parents have consented, and you and I are to be married on the first warm, sunny day of spring. That would be most good, Newland. Most good. <sighs> I'm sorry, but she, she is just awful. Is there any way... I mean, can we add, like, a topless scene or something? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. We can? 
Oh, great. All right, we got a movie. It's okay, now don't wander too far, kids. You know, more children get kidnapped at the grocery store than anywhere else. Hey! Ah, you got me. <laughs> oh, not quick enough. Not quick enough, no. no I was close, though. <laughs> you were close. Believe me, Peter does stupid things all the time. That's why he got fired from that airline. Coffee for you, Captain Griffin? Thank you, stewardess. Um, hey, where are we right now? Uh, on an airplane? No, this room. What is this room called? The flight deck? No. Control room? No. Cockpit? <laughs> oh, 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 God, I told you I'd get her to say it. Oh, 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 God. You just cost yourself a blowjob, buddy. Huh? From her. Only her. All right, go on, get out of here. Is she coming back? I don't know. <laughs> and the other night I had to do a, uh, well, you know, that thing that you usually do for me every Thursday night. What? Something good, something good. Oh, uh, you really dazzled that rep from the Cincinnati office last week. That is sensational. You really made me feel confident about those numbers. Listen, if you're ever looking for a change of scenery, we could sure use a fellow like you in Cincinnati. That was you in disguise. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Fine, it wasn't. Ha! It was! Oh, what a feeling. Oh, this is even better than that time I met Timer, the cheese guy. A hanker for a hunk, uh, a slammer slash a junker. A hanker for a hunk of cheese. When you get up and go has got up and went... Howdy, partner! Uh, yeah, pardon me, sir. I live next door. Uh, it is 3.30 in the morning. I, I am very tired. Look, a wagon wheel! What the hell is your problem? I just smoked a whole bunch of crack! Yeah, I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? Peter. Oh, man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing. Okay, cut. Wow, Neil Armstrong. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. I just saw it on TV. Oh, there's a, uh, 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 tape delay and, uh, with all, uh, solar winds. Oh! 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 Yes! Oh, this is more exciting than that time I got to ride the washing machine. Worst case scenario, I'll carve out a niche as the effeminate male friend of the popular girls. Okay, tonight's my OC party. I got a case of wine coolers so we can drink every time Ryan seethes. Cool, I'd love to come. Me too. How'd you get the wine coolers? No, oh, it's not. I just did some stuff for a guy in the parking lot. Does anyone have any scope? My God, I haven't been this exhilarated since Brian took me to see Les Miserables. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh! Oh, unbelievable! Oh, my God! How lucky are we, huh? Hey, Stewie, what are you doing tonight? Oh, nothing. Just watching Kirk Cameron play Jean Valjean. Oh, my God! Curtain up! Oh, man. I haven't been this upset since I watched The Blob on television. Look out behind you, lady! It's the blob! I'll save you! Motherfucker! Oh, man, I can't believe I'm sleeping with a model. I'm luckier than the state of Rhode Island. Well, I can't decide what to call this place. We'll flip a coin. All right, heads, Rhode Island. Tails, Kakapupu Peepeeshire. Wow, imagine what a genius like me could do with all that money. All right, Cloris Leachman, I've bought you legally. Now juggle these beanbags. I don't know how to juggle. God help you, Cloris, juggle a beanbag! I hear you're ruining everyone's good time, like Peter did when he used to entertain terminally ill kids. Hi there, how you all doing? All right, so I'm at the DMV the other day. Long lines, long lines at the DMV. But uh, you'll find out all about that when you get old. Oh! Oh, uh, uh, moving on. So uh, I finally oh. tried Viagra oh. and... Uh, Oh, we got a joker in the audience there. You, uh, you got something you want to say there, uh, Mr. Heckler? Dying hurts. Tell me about it. So anyway, who hates <laughs> Ryan? Meg, you, you remember when you found out your guy in a car? <laughs> you said dying hurts. So, tell me about it. Because <laughs> he's dying on stage. <laughs> type of piece of shit. You got to be the shittiest person alive to do that type of shit. Colleges never finish med school? 
All right, Meg, let's take a look at that Virginia. Well, it's not often we get to meet celebrities. Yeah, except when I was Christina Aguilera's manager. Okay, uh, l l let me just go ahead and stop you right there. Y you sound terrible, all right? Y you're doing this thing, which is just, uh, you know, what, what the hell is that? I mean, hey, and, and you look like if I touched you, you'd be sticky, and frankly, you smell bad. You're pretty much offensive to all five senses. That's only four. Well, uh, actually, you know when you smell something and it gets stuck in there and you can sort of taste it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm tasting you right now, and it tastes awful. Truly disgusting, like salty garbage. Yeah, I totally taste it. You really care about a man who used to try and pick up girls at the Miss USA pageant? Hey, how's it going? I'm Peter. You want to go out sometime? Maybe get a Saturday night free? Yeah, yeah, you know what? The hell with you then. Yeah, go to hell. Go to hell. Hey, I'm Peter. What do you say you and me go get a couple beers, yeah? Maybe we could... Oh, fine. You know what? You got mosquito bite boobs anyway. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't need you. Hey, how are you? I'm Peter. I got a coupon for Sizzler with your name on it. You know, maybe the two of us get you... Ah, you know what? I don't care. You're a bitch. I can do that. I'm a smart guy. I once built that time machine out of a DeLorean. All right, past. Here I come. Everybody in 1955 was on fire. Oh. I never knew that. Oh. <gasps> that guest list is more exclusive than the Garden of Eden. So basically, you can eat from any tree you want except this one. Can we sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. Well, well, why not uh, uh, Ronald Reagan? He was always fun, especially in his later years. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Tear it down. Reagan smash! Reagan smash! What's that? Oh, it's just Reagan. Just leave him alone. He'll tire himself out. Reagan sleepy. Like the time my agent dropped that bomb on me. No one in this town will hire you. Oh, yeah? Taxi! Chris, I'm just as serious as I was when I saw Paul Reiser do stand-up. What's the deal with airline food? I mean, is this stuff bad or what? Oh, that's not nice. Those chefs work really hard. And what's with those Starbucks, huh? They're everywhere. Uh, a lot of people want coffee. That's supply and demand. It's the foundation of our entire economy, Paul. And who do I talk to about those long lines at the ATM? That's what I want to know. Uh, not me, Mr. Reiser. Someone who has time to fritter away, but not me. Well, I did a lot better than I usually do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Your boy Blasphemous HD. Twism.